Walking around Middle Earth, Shadow of War without the Ring of Power or supernatural abilities of any kind is like starting around naked. But playing as Baranor and his absurd array of weapons and gadgets gives the Desolation of Mordor DLC some fun and interesting gameplay tweaks for the short time this self-contained adventure lasts. The, target? the Desolation of Mordor finds Baranor far away from the fiery realm of Mordor, venturing to the dry and dust storm ridden realm of Lithlad, where both Uruks and Easterling mercenaries dwell, aka those guys with the elephants in Return of the King. What Baranor lacks in personality and wraith powers, he makes up for with some ancient Numenorean tech that transforms him into an amalgamation of several other action video game protagonists. And yet, instead of feeling like blatant ripoffs, all these gadgets make Baranor fun to play around with. The best part is that most of it is unlocked in the first few minutes of the story. Being mortal adds some new, higher stakes to the battles. If you die, you lose all of your mercenaries and outposts and have to build up your forces from scratch. Much of your conquests will rely on these easterly mercenaries. They aren't as colorful or memorable as the enemies you'll fight, but they do come in many variations and bring new team-based skills to the table. Each ally you summon to fight has both regular and stealth-based command skills, allowing you to target enemies and send your bodyguards out in different ways. Still, the absence of key elements of the Nemesis system left me wanting more meaningful encounters with enemies and allies alike. There's no revenge to be had if you're mortal, and the campaign ends before any Oryx can cheat death and harass you. Likewise, your bodyguards don't have much to say, and their randomized names and titles do little to differentiate them beyond their skills. The bulk of Desolation of Mortar comes from taking all five outposts in the area before you can make the final fortress assault to win, and there are new advantages to capturing these outposts. However, once you take out the big overlord of the region, your adventure is over, and it won't take more than a few hours to accomplish that feat. I found myself wishing things lasted a bit longer, or at least gave the option to do online conquests with my new merc buddies. For more on Shadow of War, watch the first 15 minutes of The Desolation of Mordor, and check out the full Shadow of War review and its first DLC, The Blade of Galadriel. For everything else, stick with IGN.